A revolutionary new gene therapy for an aggressive and previously incurable form of blood cancer has had dramatic results. This is 16-year-old Alyssa Tapley, the first of 11 patients she was treated three years ago and is still cancer-free. And two-thirds of patients in that same trial have gone into what scientists are calling deep remission. Developed at Great Ormond Street Hospital and University College London, the treatment involves editing the DNA of immune cells so they can fight the cancer cells, as our medical editor, Focus Walsh, reports. I look at all these beads. <laughs> There's loads. Each one of these beads represents a procedure that Alyssa went through during her gruelling cancer treatment, including two bone marrow transplants. She was the first patient in the world to have a new form of gene therapy, which cleared her aggressive leukaemia. Well, he doesn't want any more surgery. That was three years ago. And this is Alyssa today, age 16 and still cancer-free. Yeah. I really did think that I was going to die and I wouldn't be able to grow up and do all the things that every child deserves to be able to do. I went from four months straight in Great Ormond Street to now I only come back for medical appointments once a year. So it's, it's really amazing just how, how much more freedom that I'm able to have now. Breathe in and breathe out. In 2022, Alyssa was given donor immune cells, which had been genetically <laughs> modified using a new technique called base editing. This involved three precise changes to the donor white blood cells DNA, including making them resistant to chemotherapy and stopping them from attacking Alyssa's body. The cells were then armed to fight her cancer. A bone marrow transplant then rebuilt her immune system. A few years ago, this would have been science fiction, but now we can actually collect white blood cells from healthy donors and use them for their powerful immune effects by reprogramming them and asking them to go and hunt down leukemia when they're given back to patients. Your um, recent bloods, um, they're all good. The team at Gosh and King's College Hospital have since treated a further eight children and two adults. 82% of the patients that would have been otherwise incurable went into a deep remission and managed to go ahead with a bone marrow transplantation. And at last follow-up, almost 70% of the patients are alive and in complete remission. So given how aggressive this particular form of leukemia is, these are quite striking clinical results. The speed of scientific progress in human biology and genetics is astonishing. In just a few years, conditions that were previously incurable are now treatable. So looking through the microscope... Alyssa, from Leicester, is studying for her A-levels and can now plan for the future, including how she may be able to help others. I'm looking into doing an apprenticeship in biomedical science and hopefully one day I'll go into um, blood cancer research as well. Not just for my type of cancer that I had, but for so many others. The same technology that saved Alyssa's life has also been used to successfully treat the blood disorder sickle cell disease and may have potential with other forms of cancer. Well, Fergus is here. And Fergus, this all sounds absolutely brilliant, obviously, for, for people like Alyssa. I mean, how soon could patients be able to access this treatment and how significant is it in terms of cancer therapies? OK, so this is still an experimental treatment and for now it'll continue to be provided as part of a trial for children and adults funded by the Great Ormond Street Hospital charity. Now, if those results are positive, it's the sort of thing the NHS might pick up and offer more widely. But we're stressing that this treatment is for a very particular hard-to-treat form of leukaemia. Now, on a wider level, what this shows us is, is that scientists are getting better and better at targeting and modifying cells in order to treat many forms of disease uh, using these different forms of gene therapy. Now, our DNA is the instruction manual, the blueprint for how our bodies work. And here, scientists rewrote just a handful of letters of code among billions to create this living drug. But we've had a succession of other 
medical advances using different forms of gene therapy just in the last couple of months. In September, scientists successfully treated the devastating disorder Huntington's disease for the first time by targeting a faulty gene. Last month, gene therapy was used by doctors in Manchester to halt a childhood inherited disorder, Hunter syndrome. So this is all experimental and early, early stage, but it gives hope to many where before there was none. Fergus, thank you.